So Bernard, what will we do in this video? Okay, so we will do some HCI housekeeping stuff, right? So what do I understand with this? So we will set the time zone. Uh, we will, you know, take care about the host name and do the domain join. And I think we might also, you know, want to enable remote desktop for, you know, remoting into the server um, using it using RDP. Yeah, and I think that's it, right? So we do a separate step on the updates to save a little bit more time on that. Yeah, we do that. Okay. Okay. So the time zone was very important that you set it right. If you are mm. not uh, in the US, I would start with the time zone. Yeah. Um, there was a bug in Azure Stack HCI. Um, if you were installing with the wrong time zone, um, then you had a, a nice cluster after the registration that was registered at the 1st of January in the year one. Mm. So one year after Christ's birth. And uh, I didn't know that Azure was available then. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I, but I think the bug is fixed. Yeah. So I yeah. changed the time zone. I will now enable RDP, that's point 0.7 here. Enable, and we will allow clients running any version of remote desktop. No, we will take that. the first one. Right. Okay, and now we will do the domain join. Mm -hmm. So I choose one domain, name of domain to join as powercourse.local. So we will join the domain and mm -hmm. uh, it will ask us if we also want to change the host name. And I will do that mm -hmm. now. And the name will be T-O-K-R-R -R, and then H-C-I-1. And again, a password and we want to restart now. So I did the domain join last because we have to restart. And uh, mm. so RDP enable and time zone, we could do it before the restart. Right. So this this is this video and we will do the next one about update, right? Yes, of course.